Welcome back to Wig Studio One. I'm Eileen, the Crazy Wig Lady. Okay, today we're going to look at Henry Margu Devon in the color 27AH. This is a new style. I can't wait to show it to you. Now, I have opened this wig because I wanted to peek at the color 27AH, but I have not tried it on, so I thought we would do that together. You can st see it has a crisscross part. Look at this beautiful color. 27AH. So gorgeous. You know, Henry Margot makes, I think, the most beautiful fibers in their wigs. They're soft. They're so pretty. Now, this is a dark strawberry blonde, and then it has these blonde highlights. Can you see those? I'm going to show you this in a lot of different lighting situations so you can kind of get an idea about this color, but I can definitely see the highlighting around there. It's so pretty. Now this comes in 25 shades on the wigstudio1.com website, so be sure to look at it over there. And y'all, if you're not joining us in our private Facebook group, please do. Wig Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group. We have 22, 23,000 people over there. Live videos, all kinds of educational videos, everything. It is great, so be sure to join us there. Alright, let's look at the inside of this cap. Wow, this is beautiful. Large mono top, lace front, that's a temple to temple lace front, closed ear tabs with stays. Now this is a partial hand tied cap. It has an extended felt nape, but you see this is wefted at the, at the nape. I want to make sure you see that. So there's no stretch there where those wefts are. The stretch, of course, you will get in your hand tied portion of this wig. Very, very pretty. Look at this cap. Of course, with this mono top, you can part this in any direction in the middle, on the right, or the left. These are synthetic fibers. Okay, so let's try it on. Um, by the way, this was Henry Margu Hannah and 10613GR. And this is the Wig Studio One wig grip. If you haven't tried one of these wig grips, I highly recommend it. It's on the wigstudio1.com website. It's the one that has the elastic. And those are the kind I like, and I just can't say enough about these. They have the ones that have the lace, if you prefer that. Okay, let's try on Devin. I'm going to shake it out a little bit and see how it fits. I have not adjusted it. Like I said, I haven't tried it on. This is the first time it fits well. I have a 21 and a quarter inch head circumference. This might be a tad large on me. I'm probably going to have to adjust it. I'm going to take out this part, this zigzag part. I'm just going to run my wide tooth comb through it just to kind of take that out a little bit so we can have a look at this. Okay, let me make sure I have it on straight. Okay, so this is super, super layered. Very, very layered. A little bit of an A-line, it looks like here. Little angle. Choppy on the ends. It feels like this front, the fibers are sewn a little down. You could steam this off your face. I want you to look at this lace front. Undetectable. What a beautiful lace front here on this one. Here to here. My coverage is good. There's my bow hair. The ear tab right above my ear. Let's see this side. You can see my bio hair. You can always see my bio hair a little bit right there. You could shade that with some shading powder powder if you like. I, do, I would not. wouldn't bother me, I don't think. Let's just spray it just a little. I just want to see what kind of movement I can get here. Separate these fibers a little bit. This color is so pretty, 27AH. Again, dark strawberry blonde, and then it has these highlights 
running all through it. Now this is not really falling in my face. It, Like I said, I think the fibers are sewn forward a little bit here. You could, as I said, steam this off your face if you would like and easily do it that way. I would probably just use a little hairspray and you've seen me do it a million times, but spray it off my face just a little. That also controls flyaways if I wanted to take that off my face a little more. Again, super choppy layers, tons and tons of layers. The bangs on this now, the front is five and a half inches. Did you just see that? It has comes in at seven inches on the side. Now the back is three and a quarter to nine and a half. So that tells you how layered this wig is three and a half to nine and a half and it has a three and a quarter inch nape and it weighs 3.10 ounces so super Okay, I hope you enjoyed that look at it and outdoor lighting and, and a little styling options there. But just a recap of this wig. Permatease at the nape, like we talked about there, where the wefting is, there is some permatease there. Otherwise, no. Super low density, mono top, lace front, choppy, choppy layers on the end, a little bit of an angle, just a little bit of an angle there. nice angled bob just easy to wear out of the box but super super layered really pretty nice specs on this again with the five and a half inch bang seven inch side three and a half to nine and a half on the back and a three and a quarter inch nape really nice i like the way this comes down into these face framing layers this is a nice length on the front here for most face shapes really really pretty okay guys thanks for joining me today please like and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and be sure to see this beautiful wig over at wigstudio1.com